Hey everyone, Steph here from thegoodride.com. We are here looking at the Arbor Sequoia bindings. So these are the size medium large bindings. They come in two sizes, a small medium and a medium large. And the small medium covers a size five to seven and the medium large covers a seven to nine. So as far as sizing goes, there's not a giant range of sizes that this will fit. If you have a larger boot size, it would probably be better to choose a different binding. But if you are somewhere in between the six to nine range, as far as boot sizes go, then the Arbor bindings will fit. So these are a medium flexing binding. I'll give you a look at the high back flex here. It's definitely a medium flex, but it has a good amount of support to it, but it also has a little bit of play. So they are comfortable to kind of tweak the board if you're riding freestyle, or if you're getting a little bit more dynamic and adding a lot of movement, then they work for that. They have an asymmetrical shape here. So it's a little higher on the outside of the high back coming down towards the inside of the foot. It has some padding here to keep it pretty comfy and it has a pretty nice surface area as far as like where your calf goes so you get a nice surface area to kind of like tweak the binding and stuff like that so the high back adjustment is here so to adjust the high back you just loosen that up and then you have a few notches to choose from if you want more forward lean you put it down if you want less you put it up and then you can just tighten it back up So the high back adjustment is not toolless, but um, you know, it works and it'll stay when you put it. As far as binding straps go, I really like the Arbor binding straps, honestly. They have a nice flex to them. They're kind of rubber material. They feel lightweight and they stay in place really well. Uh, so here's the ankle strap. It's also somewhat asymmetrical. So it's a little bit bigger on the outside of the foot here and a little bit smaller on the inner side of the foot here. Here's look at the buckle. And one of the cool things about Arbor, there's a few binding companies that do this, but when you take the ankle strap off, it stays open so that you can put your foot in without having to fight the binding too much. But what I like about this is it stays open, but it doesn't flop like this. Because if it flops like this, it's getting in the way of your skating and uh, where you're putting your foot on your board. And so I like that it just kind of stays out of the way. You can even go like that and it'll just be ready for your foot to come in. Just look at the ratchet. Pretty, it's not extremely smooth, but it comes on and off well. Pretty big lever so that you can definitely use mittens to put it on and off. And then it has this bigger lever to like release it up here. For the toe strap, it's a similar material, pretty flexible, um, but it conforms nicely to the front or toe of the boot, honestly. And the same thing, as you can see here, uh, when you take it off, it's gonna stay out of your way and it just kind of like sits to the side there and then it makes it easy to put it on. And if you'll notice this strap also on both sides have a curve to them as well. So it's just like, you know, easier, more streamlined way to put your foot in without having to like kick the straps to the side. Let's go ahead and we're gonna put a boot in it. So this is my seven and a half Vans Luna boot. So you can see how it fits here. It's quite a nice fit. The toe strap, like once it's on, it's not going anywhere. I like the good surface area here on the outside of the boot and the high back fits quite nicely towards the back of the boot as well. There are toolless adjustments here. So it's pretty easy to adjust the side of the strap. I like these big uh, handles on the screws. So they're harder to lose, but it just gives you some nice amount of torque on there. So right here it has an extra little knob to help keep the ankle strap in place when you're when you're putting it on. Another thing with the toe strap is you can choose the angle if you want the toe strap going over the front of your boot or over the top of the boot. So there's a little adjustment here. You just kind of push it down and move it and pull it back up. And you can change the ankle of the toe strap from going over the top or over the toe. That's right there. And same, same on this side as well, so you can match the angle of the toe straps together.
for the footbed, there's an EVA foam footbed, which I find pretty comfortable. It's also very lightweight. It's good shock absorption. So right here you get a little bit more of a heel pad to stand on. It's just like this layer of foam that sits over the base plate. But as far as shock absorption goes, there's also a layer, a very thin layer of like rubber on the bottom here to help with a little bit more shock absorption as well. So you get two layers, you get the one on the bottom and you get the one on the top. There's a little bit of a tow ramp also, so you can see it. A little bit of a tow ramp also that has a little higher density rubber or foam right here. It kind of adds to like that shock absorption as well. As you can see, it's a full size disc and you get quite the range of adjustments here. So you have the ability to micro adjust as you're putting your angles and your stance width on your board. And then it's also compatible with the Burton channel system as well. So the high backs are not rotatable. So if you use more abrupt angles with your stance, the high back will just stay rotated the way it is. On some bindings, you can actually adjust the angle of the high back to like kind of match your heel edge. And this comes with a five degree pre-rotated high back. So if you have really extreme angles, like you're going over 15, you're going to like 20 degrees, you might get a little bit of calf bite from that. But if you're going anywhere from like zero degrees to like 15 degrees, it should be pretty okay. Definitely zero to 12 should be not a problem at all. You can also adjust the heel cup. So if you want to center your boot along the width of the board, you can just pull this out and you get options to pull it out a little bit more or push it in. So the first screws you have to take out are these here, right on the ankle strap. If you remove both screws on both sides, you'll have three options to adjust the length of the heel cup. The next step is to remove these screws on both sides and you can adjust the high back position as well. So if this is a medium large, if you're size nine boot, you might wanna pull that out. But since my boot is a seven and a half, it fit well with my boot size, so I didn't have to change it. Arbor bindings come with what they call a system X, I would say energy transfer, I guess. So when you transfer energy anywhere in the binding, heel to toe, it's designed to kind of put that energy in specific points on the binding that is supposed to be more efficient energy transfer. So as you shift your balance and your weight towards different areas of the bindings, the binding is designed to kind of push it towards one of these zones and it's supposed to be a little bit more effective and efficient energy transfer between turns. I did find the Sequoia bindings pretty responsive and I think it's a mix of the ankle strap just fitting really well, the binding and the footbed fitting really well. I'm sure the X system had something to do with it as well. So overall, who are the Arbor Sequoia bindings good for? These are a little bit more of the higher end binding from Arbor. They have it as advanced to expert, but honestly, I think if you're an intermediate and above, they're friendly enough for that. They have some good support. They're more of an all mountain specific type binding, but they do have enough playfulness to allow for some freedom of movement. And so if you're just looking for a responsive binding to take all mountain, to take in the free ride realm, or if you want a more responsive binding to take into the park, they also work for that. They have a medium flex, but they're also kind of butterable. You know, they have a little bit of give to them and uh, they're pretty lightweight as well. So if you're looking for a comfortable medium flexing binding that you can take all mountain or through the park, maybe check out the Arbor Sequoias. I think one of the main things that I would like to see is being able to rotate the high back a little bit. I think that's a huge plus. I'm a fan of matching up the back of the high back to my heel edge. A toolless high back adjustment would be cool, but you know what, once you adjust it and it's in place, you're good to go anyway, so that's cool. A binding with a lot of cool features. I love the straps that kind of like move out of the way, but don't get in your way of skating at all. I like the dampness of the binding, and I also like that they're pretty lightweight and comfortable. So that's a look at the Sequoia bindings from Arbor. If you're looking for the full write-up and review, head over to thegoodride.com to check it out.